Exactly. So, thank you, Mika. My name is Riku. And for the last time in Glastec 2016, I would like to introduce our dynamic duo, Sami and Pekka. And I suggest that we get right down to business. So Mika, if you could get us some instructions and then we can start tempering Tampere style. Okay, Sami and Pekka, we will be doing 6, 8, 4. So a bit different than what we are used to here, but let's see what we can do. And Sami and Pekka will now start loading the glasses on the loading table. And while they are at it, I could tell you a bit about the setup that we have here. So as Mika mentioned, we are tempering low E glasses and the 6 and 8 millimeter glasses are triple silver and the 4 millimeter glass is double silver. And the reason that we chose to use these low E glasses is to demonstrate the low E capability of the new FC series furnace. And we will be running back to back production here, meaning that there will be minimized loading delays. So you will be seeing that the next glasses go to the furnace right after the previous ones have entered the chiller. And now you can see the eight millimeter glasses going in the furnace. Oh, sorry, six millimeter, six millimeter, yeah. And Pekka and Samu will load the eight millimeter glasses to the table now. So while they are doing that, Mika, could you tell the audience a bit about the new FC series furnace? Okay, so one of the features we like to highlight is the ease of use of the furnace. And Pekka will now be telling you how easy the furnace is to use exactly. Hello, in uh, normal situations, Operator just needs to go to a recipe page, select uh, thickness, glass type clear or low E, and tempering or heat strengthening mode like this, and use. And now the machine is ready for the next patch. And in addition to the ease of use, the machine truly is a masterpiece of intelligence, like Mika said. So, we have the Insight Assistant system that helps the operator automatically to achieve even greater glass quality. Pekka, would you tell the audience that how the Insight Assistant system actually works? Yes, uh, Insight Assistant uses the sensors on loading table to measure the size and shape of the loading. And according to the measurements, the machine automatically adjusts the heating power of each individual heater and also convection level inside the furnace. And on the chiller side, it will automatically adjust the air balance to guarantee flatness of the glass. And in the pro version, we are using bottom scanner to measure the actual temperature of the patch. And if the temperature is too high, it will reduce the heating time, or if it's too low, it will increase it and it will make a very stable production in mass production situations. Yeah, and one thing that's worth mentioning is that the furnace also has extensive reporting features. So if you're a glass manufacturer or a tempering manufacturer, it is of course important to be able to prove to your customers what kind of quality you're producing. So Sami, could you show us that how we get the reports out of the machine and how they look like? Absolutely. So simply we choose menu, services, and here we have the load step. And uh, now for example, if we go to yesterday, you can see all the classes run yesterday. And, and for example, by double clicking the desired load, we get the report for the four millimeter production yesterday and now with uh, by by viewing the the report you can easily see how it was done what kind of heating was used how the furnace was was reacting to the to the heating cooling and of course the scanner image is available to make sure that everything was okay Yeah, 
Exactly, and now you can see that Sami and Pekka already have loaded the 4mm glasses on the loading table. So we should have the 6mm glasses out of the furnace quite soon. So we will move to the unloading end now and we will be checking the quality that we are producing here. Okay, so before we move on to the quality checks, there's one new feature I'd like to highlight before. So we have the bottom scanner that is actually scanning the bottom of the glass and this is a huge improvement when you're considering low-E glasses. So when you're using the traditional top scanner, the low-E coating significantly affects the scanning result. And we have the comparison here on the big screen. And on the left we have the top scanner image and it is really easy to see here that the image is highly distorted. And here on the right side we have the bottom scanner image where you can see that the heating has been really good in the furnace and we are actually able to use this information with the inside assistant system to provide even better recipe adjustments automatically. Okay, and now we can move on to the quality checks. So the first one we have prepared for you guys is the anisotropy test. And anisotropy is a huge topic in the glass industry now. And could you, Mika, tell a bit more about the anisotropy as a phenomenon before we check the quality? Will do. Sami and Pekka, could you leave the glass here? Of course. So, yes, you can see the difference is huge. And we have our operator wizard Pekka here. So could you, Pekka, tell us that how we are able to handle anisotropy and what we're actually doing? Yes, of course it starts from the special tempering hat and then from the FC series uh, furnace that uses very high volume convection system on top and bottom side to create very even temperature in the glass. And the last phase is in the chiller and the component is here on the table. So we are using slotted design nozzle covers that create very uniform air curtain that the glass goes through and this eliminates all the quench marks, all the nozzle marks from the glass. Okay, and now you can see the 8 millimeter glasses are ready and coming out of the chiller. So, we will be doing the fragmentation test where we break the glass and then we count the collets inside a 5 times 5 centimeter area. So Pekka and Samu will lift the glasses and we can break the glass after that. Okay, so let's break the glass. And you can hear the four millimeter glasses in the, furnace, uh, in the chiller, which makes quite a lot of noise, but let's see what happens. Okay, looking pretty good to my eye. So, let's draw the circle here. And 
and then we can count the college here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I think that's enough as it is really clear already at this point that the glass easily passes the test. Okay, so we have the bad sample on the table now. And Pekka, could you tell the audience that what we are seeing here? Hello, yes, on the table we have a unfortunately quite normal piece of 4 mm temper glass with huge amount of roller wave. I mean, unfortunately, this is still on the market, this quality. And the viewer can see the reflection from the light behind the glass, and it should be straight lines also in the reflection, but in this case, it's not. It's pretty damn ugly. But our glass will be much, much better than this. Looking pretty good. So, we have our quality inspector, Sami, here. What is your judgment? Well, looks like it's supposed to look like after tempering with the FC series furnace. Uh, visibly, I cannot see actually almost any defects on that glass. It might have a very slight edge kink. I think we should measure it and see where we stand. So, we have the edge kink measurement device. Let's make it to zero and then have a look. Point zero 0.01, so it could be better, but actually I don't have any idea how it could be better. Okay, that is some excellent quality. And we also have a measurement device for the roller wave. So we are actually able to get a numerical value to confirm what we are seeing here on the table. So let's configure it. And then we will be dragging the measuring device across the glass. And the more variation there is on the screen, the more roller wave there, of course, on the glass. And as you can see, the value is not changing at all. So that conf confirms what we saw in the reflection, that there is no roller wave in the glass. Pekka and Sami, could you empty that one and let's break the 4 millimeter glass. Will do. Okay, so somebody still thinks we're cheating here. Okay, so this one is empty now. So, Mikael, could you show the guys that this exact glass is the one that we're going to break? Okay, here we go, and I think it's... You think it's Pekka's turn? I think Pe it's Pekka's time to break some glass, yes. Go ahead. Thank you. I would say that is... Pretty good. What is your judgment, Sami, according to Sami standards? According to Sami standards, everything could be always better, but in this case, I would say it's an excellent result. We are easily inside the standards, what we, what we are following, and, and uh, the class is really looking good. They want to see the anisotropy on the 4 millimeter glass. So... Let's move it onto the anisotropy table.
Yeah, the glass looks extremely good. Okay, thank you Mika. It has been a really fun week for us all here. And Pekka is already starting the weekend fun, I can see. So I hope everyone of you also has a great weekend and have a safe journey back home.